What's going on, guys? It's Jeb. We're here over on Black Ops Cold War. They actually just ended up releasing the uh, baseball bat. What do we need to actually do to unlock it? Using a melee weapon, kill an enemy revealed by your spy plane, UAV, or field mic in 15 different completed matches. Killed by your spy plane or UAV? Tripping or are those not the same thing on this game? 15 different matches, I'm assuming. Yeah, it says completed matches too. So obviously we don't have time to do all that. But to be fair, the one upside to the melee weapons, or at least for content creation anyway, melee weapons don't have any attachments. So whenever you go over there and buy a bundle, for example, with them, you can go and get, you know, just one of these simple bundles here. Knock a couple screws loose with the Nutcracker baseball bat. This looks absolutely brutal to use on somebody and definitely not a regular baseball bat, but I need to actually start using more emotes and stuff like that. I have so many people that spectate me and I know they're mad when they're watching me. I need it. This pay me shit used to seem so douchey. But not really. Not once you get a mortgage. Right, so we got the Nutcracker uh, weapon. We got a new skin for Woods. Which actually looks pretty cool, by the way. I actually kind of like it. Besides the glasses. The hair is cool. The outfit's fine. Got a little uh, accessory here. Foam finger. Middle finger. You're number one. All right. So we can't select the regular baseball bat, but we got the Nutcracker here. Let's look over at the gunsmith real quick. How would it look with uh, Dark Matter? Ooh. I have a feeling the actual baseball bat itself with Dark Matter will look pretty cool. Without all this crazy metal shit in the way anyway. Way, it'll actually be pretty it's nice so they did add standoff by the way but i don't really know how i feel about trying to get melee kills with it on there so we're back on nuketown this is uh, back to our regular retirement home standoff is one of the greatest free-for-all maps of all time the spawns were just perfect if you ended up holding any of the vehicles slash tanks and stuff like that in the middle of the street you could just rotate and just control the entire lobby i also remember going for like little challenges and stuff like that i don't know how many of you guys were around back then but i remember back then i did a what well, was it a 30 it was a headshot only free for all win so it's 30 kills to win but you have to get 30 headshots and if you hit or land a body shot or lose obviously you lose the challenge at the time i was freaking the fuck out i was super happy about that shit okay we got the baseball bat let's check it out is that the inspect for all of them Oh, the crowd noises change. So it seems like it's got about the same swinging speed as I'd say the sledgehammer. I don't know if it has any actual unique stats. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> now Cat B, come on over. <laughs> Dude, when you hit people with that shit, I, I don't know if it's just because of the event, but when you hit them, that shit sounds like a home run. Just It just cracks. Uh, So far that I've been using it, I would say it pretty much has the same feeling as the uh, sledgehammer. It might be faster, but I mean, honestly, I'm going to doubt that they even put that much attention to detail to it to where they make a slightly lighter, faster version of a sledgehammer in the baseball bat. That makes sense in actuality, but in game, I mean, and even over on Warzone, we somehow have more dexterity with weapons that are clearly much more light than other it's just weird i do like this one though i mean if i liked or cared about baseball anyway but i mean still hitting anyone with a baseball bat anyone gets that anyone can understand cap b everyone don't worry we'll get him in the spawn captured b completely by myself oh my god that lunge very very similar to the uh sledgehammer Nice melee, man. I don't know what fucking sensitivity you're on, but okay, man. I cannot turn like that on the ground. Point. 
Dude, I can't imagine getting hit with this shit. Yeah, that's also the other cool thing. We can unlock all the camos for it as we go. I mean, if I'm not in a super sweaty lobby, I mean, melee weapons just being melee weapons, you know what I mean? Kind of difficult to consistently always do well with it. I imagine the challenges aren't too bad. I used to do the uh, self-inflicted injured kills. Literally slightly damage myself with a grenade somewhere and then run around a corner at somebody. I would literally wait for someone to be near me, damage myself, and run at them. I can't sit there and depend on them to shoot me too late in order to not kill me, but also just shoot me in general. Wait a minute, can I complete this 80s action heroes thing multiplayer? Oh, I can. Oh, no. Okay, wait a minute. They're different. 80s action hero. Boom. Oh, that looks smooth. I mean, I wonder how that would look with like dark matter and other shit too. I've been saying that shit for literally years at this point. The setup isn't good, but okay, so there's two different blueprints. One for multiplayer slash zombies and one that's Warzone exclusive. The Warzone exclusive one though has the thing I want. 